Hello, and welcome to our Serenade video. In this video, we will focus on adding default billing items, associate those billing items to a case, as well as modify other settings for billing. In order to apply these settings, you must be signed up to the optional module Billing. You must also have access to the Admin Tools page. Let us get started. Once inside the Caseworker portal, we will access the Admin Tools page by clicking on the Settings icon on the top right, and then proceed to select Admin Tools. We are now in the Admin Tools page. Let us now click on Billing Items. You are now at the area to add default billing items. If you're brand new, you will see a blank page here, or if you previously created billing items, you will see them listed here. You can always edit an existing billing item, however, for the purpose of this video, we will create brand new ones. We will click on Add Billing Item. We will give it a code. It could be any numerical code to help you identify this billing item. I will select the type, which we have listed as Professional Fee and Filing Fee. Keep in mind you can create more billing types in the admin portal and choose them here. You will now add the description. This will help you identify what you're charging and will show up on the invoices. Lastly, you will set the rate. You can either do a flat fee or an hourly fee. You can also make it taxable if you'd like. Once adding all this info, you can save. Your billing item has now been created and can now be selected when creating an invoice in the Caseworker portal. Proceed to create billing items for everything you charge for. Once finished, let us go back to the home page of the Admin Tools page. Now that we have default billing items, the next thing to show you is you can set default expenses to be listed when selecting a type of case. You can do this in the case processes. Once inside, you will locate the case you want to assign a billing item. Once found, click on the Billing Item icon. You will then click on Add Process Billing Item. You will see the list of billing items you just created. Proceed to choose the billing items you want to associate for this specific type of case by clicking on the checkbox to the left. Once finished, click on Add Billing Items. The billing items are now associated to this case, which means when working on a case, and selecting this type of case, the moment I go to create an invoice and want to pull expenses, these items will be listed for me. Before we end this video, a couple more settings to show you regarding billing. Let us visit our application settings located on the home page. We will then click on the billing tab to the right. We will now see a couple settings that will affect all users. The first couple settings involves taking everyone's ability to delete trust account info and invoices. Keep in mind, you can have this setting off and still limit someone's access in their user profile. If you've made a payment plan for your client, you can have the ability to add overpayments onto the next installment by selecting this option. You can have the invoice automatically list a due date by selecting this option. You can have the setting to automatically email a client when giving them a payment plan by selecting this option. You can even dictate how many days in advance you want this email to be sent out. You can add a default note which will appear at the bottom of invoices. And lastly, if you have the option of module credit card processing and plan to use it for auto payments, you can select default settings such as how many days before the due date do you want to charge your clients, and if you want them to receive an email letting them know if the card transaction was successful or rejected. Once you've applied your settings, you will click on Save. Please note, these settings will only affect new users to the system. If you wish to have the same setting for your caseworker profile, proceed to go into your caseworker profile, go to your user preferences, and visit the billing section. You will add the info and save it. The last billing setting you can add is add your own logo, which also reflects on your login pages for the caseworker portal and the client portal. To add your own logo, we will go back to the admin tools, go back to the application settings, and this time visit the branding tab. From here, you will see a button to upload a banner. Please note that you must have a file in the size of 300 by 70 in GIF format. Once you have located the file and uploaded, it, it will be listed, and you will click on Save. If you do not see the updated file, you may need to hit Refresh or clear your cached images in the settings from your browser. Once you see the image file here, it will appear in your login page, the login page for the client portal, 
and lastly on your invoices. This concludes our video on applying default billing items as well as other billing settings.